Trayvon Bryant is the type of person who inspires people on and off the field. Being known for his leadership and determination has gotten him far in football, but last season he had to develop a new mindset as he faced a challenge he never imagined. Senior running back Trayvon Bryant had high hopes for his final year as a UNH Wildcat. Being named captain alongside one of his closest teammates and roommate, DeAndre Drummond Myrie, this season was meant to be one for the books. I tore four ligaments in my knee. I tore my ACL, my patella tendon, my MCL, and lead my lateral and medial meniscus uh, all in one. Um, it was the most painful thing ever. It was the loudest noise. It was, yeah, it was crazy. It was sad, you know, when we first got hurt, you know what I mean, because we, like, we've been together all these years, and we both got our red shirts burned together, so we knew we'd be the only two, like, leaving early in our class. So it was sad to see him get hurt for two reasons. One, because, like, you never want to see a player that good get hurt, and then two, like, you know, it's your best friend, and he can help the team so much. After a series of surgeries and a lot of time spent recovering, Trayvon stood strong and found out what he needed most. There's a lot of times where I had to put, you know, my feelings and my, you know, my not wanting to get up out of bed and not wanting to go to treatment and all that stuff. Like, I had to put all that stuff aside to, you know, focus on my teammates and make sure that, you know, they're getting the leadership for me that they need. Uh, my family stayed in contact with me. My mom, she came up and she spent a lot of time with me. Uh, teammates also played a part in staying mentally um, tough, but uh, it was mostly just through a lot, a lot of play, uh, prayer and, you know, just having hope that things would be okay. He's just a really good friend of mine, you know what I mean? So whenever he was like feeling down or just upset, especially when it first happened, I just let him know like I'm always here. Just letting him know like it's gonna suck, like it's gonna suck, but like you're gonna be okay. You've been through worse, people have been through worse. And he already is a positive person, so it didn't, it wasn't that hard for him to kind of like get on that track of positivity to know that like it is what it is, but he will get better. My roommates, I had uh, DeAndre, um, he's already graduated. Um, I had Dane Heron. I had Isaiah Perkins, uh, Quinlan Dean, uh, those guys were the most guys that were around helping out a lot. The St. Augustine native is not only a star here for the UNH football program, but there's so much more to him than what the public eye sees. Seeking a master's degree in human development and family studies, Trayvon is hoping to make an impact on the development of the youth. I work at um, Green Guard Center for Autism, which is a place in Portsmouth where I work with um, young adults with autism. And um, basically what we do, we just uh, spend a lot of time with them helping develop their skills just to get them back out into the community and be able to operate well with everyone else in the community. And Trayvon is just, uh, if there's one word I can describe about Trayvon is character. Um, I've never, I've never heard him say anything bad about anyone. Um, he just set the example. He's very coachable. Whatever you ask him to do, he does it. And um, he's the type of kid you want your kids to be like. He's a freak, man. He's so good at so many things, and he's so dedicated to so many things. And when he really puts his mind to something, he's gonna go get it. And like I said, I'm getting a master's degree in human development, family studies, and focusing on the adolescent development part of it. Um, but I really just think that I have a, a gift and the ability to be able to reach out to the young. So I want to be able to go back and do that for the students and just help them get through it mentally because I know I struggle mentally sometimes and um, just having that extra person just kind of help and I think I can do that for the world. Not only is he a role model to the community and influential to those around him, he's got a couple hidden talents as well. On the field he's very like, he's a very animated player to say the least. <laughs> he gets really pumped up. He has a great energy, but off the field, like he still has that same energy, but he's more of like a goofy person, yeah. I guess you could say. I like, always dancing, he sings, he dances, he sings, he acts, he does like skits for us. He's like hilarious. I, I, I think that he thinks he is a singer and a dancer on the side besides football. <laughs> I don't know if anyone doesn't know, but um, I dance, sing a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Trayvon said the most important influences in his life have been his high school coach, TJ Sims, and his mom. She's my rock. That's my lady. Um, <laughs> yeah, she does, she does a lot for me, man, and most of my motivation comes from, you know, comes from her. Just growing up, seeing how hard she worked and everything she does for me. Um, it's my responsibility to, you know, succeed, and not just for me, but for her, because I know when I do, when I do succeed, you know, it's, she, she's happy. So, uh, TJ Sims is definitely one of the biggest influences on my life. Um, you know, I grew up in a single parent family home, so he stepped in as a, as a father figure and, uh, you know, just kind of took over that role. He just, I don't know, he's like a son to me, you know. Uh, we just, you know, we weren't only just, you know, coach and player, we were, um, you know, outside of football, we just talked about life and, you know, I just wanted to do whatever I could to, to be there for him. Trayvon is looking forward to suiting up for this fall season and tackling the next chapter of his life. 
he's gonna make it happen. So he can do whatever he wants on that field. There's a lot of people that do know my name and there's a lot of people that don't, and the people that don't will. But yeah, this is gonna be the season where I do what I have to do.